just realizing this whole time I'm sitting on this um, pack of foundation. So I have a nice smear of foundation on my butt. Okay, though, I'm a mom. These things happen. I got this. We got it under control, guys. Hi everyone, it's great to see you guys again. Um, so I'm really excited. I just started my new YouTube channel called The Beauty Bomb Mom. So I'm gonna be giving you guys um, makeup tips and tricks for busy moms on the go. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So today's video, I'm going to be doing some jewel tones on my eyes, like a nice royal jewel-y toned um, makeup today. So. I'm going to be trying this um, foundation I got from BH Cosmetics. So this one is their Naturally Flawless Liquid Foundation. Um, this is the shade Light Olive. So here we go. I'm going to use my brush I have, my foundation brush, and kind of just go in like this. It might You might think it looks a little funny to slather it on right now, but, oh, it's pretty thick in consistency. So I'm just going to kind of um, massage it in to, ooh, yeah, that is a lot. I only put, like, two little dabs on my face. There we go. Go over top of your eyes like that. It doesn't matter if you get it on your eyelashes because you're going to be putting mascara on. And notice how I'm kind of, I'm not just dragging it, I'm kind of tapping it. The more you kind of tap it into your skin, then the, uh, the kind of less cakey and like more natural it's going to look. Um... I should also mention that I also, I first moisturized my skin, like I cleaned and moisturized my skin. Um, yeah, so that actually looks pretty good so far. Yeah, I'm really digging that so far. Now at this point, if you don't really have a lot of problem areas, you don't have to use a concealer, but I'm going to go in with this Maybelline um, doo -doo -doo, Super Stay. Maybelline Super Stay, and this is the shade Light number 15. So you can like just put a couple dabs. You don't need a ton of concealer. Kind of just where if you have any little problem areas um, or any kind of, yeah, scarring or red spots, whatever it may be. And then... You can use a beauty blender, like a sponge or a brush, or even your finger. Like, if you don't have a brush, that's fine, too. Um, some people like to put their foundation on with their hand or their fingers because it kind of melts into the skin more um, and gives, like, a more realistic uh, finish, I guess you could say. So next I'm using my matte powder. It's by um, Rimmel. And it is the lightweight mattifying powder. So it's just kind of sheer. I'm going to take my little brush and just kind of pat it. If you have like an oily forehead or um, if it's really like hot outside or you sweat, um, this will just kind of keep everything in place for you throughout the day. So I'm not going to be using like a really harsh bronzer today, just something light. Um, this is L'Oreal's Back to Bronze. And what is the shade here? 02 Sun Kiss. So I'm going to take another brush and just kind of lightly tap and go up a little bit. I've seen some people go down as well. So whatever you feel um, looks more natural on your skin, I'm just kind of doing it like putting a little bit of pressure. Like the more pre the more pressure you put, the darker it's going to be, right? So I like to do it on my cheeks here. I like to put a little bit under my jawline. And then I also like to put some like tap it a little bit up here in my hairline. 
because that's kind of where the sun would hit you, right? Like naturally, so. And then if you want to do a little bit, I'm not doing any contouring today. It's kind of more of a natural look. And then for my blush, I have my old tried and true from Milani. And this is the shade called Coral Cove, number five. And I can also link all of these down in the description box below. So you just want to put a little bit and kind of blend it out just to give your cheeks a little pop of color on this gloomy day here. Here in Alberta, we have, um, I think it's like minus 30 below zero today. There's an extreme cold weather warning. So we're just kind of hanging out in the house all day today, which is kind of fun. A nice little break for the kids. All right, so for my eyebrows, I have just an angle brush. I'm gonna take a brown. You can use any kind of matte brown powder that you want to. And I do have my eyebrows tattooed, but I haven't had them done for about two years now. So they're starting to fade a little bit. Um, but I would highly recommend getting a brow tattoo. Um, I had I went through a girl named Janine and she was at Tri Beauty Studio that is here in Red Deer. Um, and now she's actually making these really nice um, chakra balancing candles. They are super, super cute. Um, I have yet to pick one up, but it's definitely on my wish list. So it's called the Worthy Wick. If you're interested, I can, yeah, I can. Uh, she's on Instagram if you guys want to check her out. But yeah, anyway. So that's who did my brow tattoo. Um, very nice. They recommend you should go back every two to three years, I think it was, to get it touched up. But mom, I don't have a lot of cash right now. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using this um, Living in, in Color palette that my friend had sent to me. I'm going to be using a couple different tones here. I'm going to be using like a blue, a nice kind of shimmery teal under my eyes or green, you could say, and then some plum and some um, like a shimmery purple or pink. I can't decide yet which one I want to use, but I'm just going to start with this like uh, plummy color here and I'm just going to kind of tap it right here on my lid and just lightly blend it like so and then I'll go ahead and do the other eye and I'll come back okay so now that I've done that plum color I'm gonna go in with this kind of like um, pinkish sparkly pink color and I'm gonna go over top of that like so just to kind of give a little bit of a different shade. I wasn't really happy with that plum shade alone. I kind of wanted to get a little bit more um, vibrancy and some more shimmer in there. Okay, so next I'm going to, I think I'm gonna go a little bold and I'm gonna do some green. Oh, that is beautiful, absolutely stunning. This color reminds me of like a mermaid, I swear. Like it's, it's really, um, I almost said seaweedy, but no, it's, it's jewel toned, right guys? So I just really love these bright, warm jewel tones. Like it's really fun. Um, especially on such a cold winter's day, you need something to kind of spice up your life. So now that the green is done, I'm going to go kind of in the crease of my eye just with a lighter orange color, just so I can kind of like um, blend this all in a little better. Um, yeah, because sometimes like you don't want to have that harsh line, right? So I find if you use a little bit of a lighter color that does have a pop of color and just kind of blend it in, then it's going to like um transfer the color's gonna look more natural I get not that yeah okay anyway what I'm trying to say it's gonna flow better it's gonna have a nice 
flow and a nice energy. <laughs> what the heck am I talking about? Now I have this eye eyeliner by Marcel and it's purple. It's the shade Purpurite. Purpurite it's called. So I'm going to put that under here. I'll do the same on the other eye as well. Yeah, I, I just haven't decided if I want to keep the purple or if I should do like a blue. I'm kind of... I could do both. I could do like a blue in like one corner, like so. And then kind of have it fade to a purple do that. You could spice it up a little, be a little unpredictable in our fun mommy lives. You're probably wondering, well, if she has kids, where the heck are they? It's so quiet. Well, we just had our loud activity. We played, we kicked the ball around for a little bit and then uh, did some Play-Doh and some, made some smoothies. So yeah, it's been a very exciting day. So now that I've done the blue in the corners, I'm going to go in with like a, a purple shade. I'm going to use my NYX Ultimate palette in this shade right here. So I'm going to go over top of that purple that I did with the eyeliner earlier. Give it a little more bang for the buck. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with a shimmer in the corner of my eye. So this is my Smashbox palette. It's Petal Metal. I'm gonna take like one of the lightest shades at the top and I'm going to just kind of tap it in the corner of my eye. Right here. And then also I'm gonna put a little bit of it um, like kind of right underneath my my brow and that's gonna open up everything and make it look extra snazzy. I'm gonna go in after that on top with a liquid liner. This is from The Body Shop and actually it's a very decent price and it's, um, yeah, I got it, um, I wanna say like a year ago or nine months ago and it's still, it's still kicking so I'm not saying I use it every day, but it's a really good go-to for me. So I'll do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm done my liquid liner. Now it's time for mascara. There's a few that I really like. Um, the Lash Sational from Maybelline. And I also like this um, Lash Princess by Essence. So this one is their volume mascara. I didn't like one of their other ones. I think it was the light blue one. I had got them all in a four pack for Christmas. There was light blue, green, purple, and then pink. And so far I like pink pretty decently. So yeah, I'm, I'll just go ahead and do the Lash Princess to show you guys. And the brush is really different. It looks kind of like, here, let me show you. It looks kind of like this. It's a very odd shape, but it kind of works wonders, to be honest. It gets into all those grooves and like really, really does the job. So I've done like the tops of my lashes. Um, as you can see, it kind of gives a lot of like volume and length at the same time, which I like. And then you just kind of want to brush a little bit on the bottom lashes with the excess from, from the top that you had used. All right, so I'm gonna have a hard time finding um, a lipstick to use because a lot of my lipsticks just expired, unfortunately, so I had to throw a bunch out. Sad emoji face. So what I do have, oh, here we go. Okay, so this is beautiful. This is by CoverGirl. It's their 24 hour matte lipstick and the shade of this is called Risky Business. So it's number 620, Risky Business. And some people might say this look is a little risky because of all the colors I combined. So I will do this on the bottom. 
then I should have probably used a lip liner but I need to buy some new makeup clearly I'll be back in one sec so there you have the lipstick so we have um that's kind of the final look I guess take that out we have the the mermaid green the plum and the orange kind of mixed we have the purple and the blue underneath can't really see the blue as much as I had hoped but that's okay we have my kind of matte plum mauvey plum lipstick so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this look um if you like this kind of thing subscribe to my channel um leave me a little comment below let me know what you think if you have any ideas or tips and tricks of your own you'd like to share um yeah subscribe to my channel if this kind of thing interests you and i'm hoping to upload at least one video a week i'll update you guys and let you know what day that'll be probably Saturdays, but yeah. Okay, well, thanks for joining me at the Beauty Bomb Mom, and have an awesome day, guys. Stay beautiful.